Hi guys, happy Easter. I just wanted to um, read to you guys just a short um, part in Matthew 28 that talks about um, the resurrection and um, the great commission that follows that. It says, after the Sabbath at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look into the tomb. There was a violent earthquake for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to the woman, do not be afraid for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, he is risen. Just as he said, come and see the place where he lay. It's so crazy um, because just a couple verses later, um, it talks about the great commission and um and it's just and it's so wild to me that we are experiencing easter in a time where there's a virus and a pandemic that's keeping us from gathering keeping us from going and experiencing church like normal and and i was wondering just like what does that great commission for us look like at a time like this where we can't just invite someone to come to church with us and experience church with us and and honestly, like the simple answer, I feel like you guys already know this, is that we still invite them anyway. We invite them to the online service to tune in and we we can extend ourselves in ways that um, we can still communicate through texting. We can text a word of encouragement or, or prayer or we can invite them to um, a chapel service or to an Easter service. And, and it's just wild because I I think about this living hope that we were able to cling on to because of what Jesus did 2000 years ago. And that same hope that he gave them is the same hope that he's giving us um, to cling on to as, um, as our lifeline, especially during a time like this where so many people are being woken up to this idea of life is not very long and, and, and it's scary right now. It's scary. And we're all separated from each other. And what does it look like to cling on to a hope that is living? And and so I just want to encourage you guys in this time, in this Easter, that looks probably far different than any of you have ever experienced. I know diff way different than I've ever experienced. And 